Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash, Shalom, Labakarim, Shah Yasharala, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Natalaya, Ha Kasayam, Shah Dawada, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, the Wadaba Yahweh, the Wadaba Yahweh Shai, the Wadaba Yahweh, the Wadaba Yahweh Shai. All right? Shalom to your sincere brothers, double honors to my teachers, and the pots on the other of a great millstone who teach and rule well. To you sincere brothers out there, Shalom and you sisters as well. Now I want to be, I got to go to plantation, so, you know, the spirit jumped on me to come and do this lesson real quick before I head out to plantation, man. And um, I want, uh, we, we're still in the day of atonement. We're actually still in the day of atonement to afflict your soul, man. You know what I mean? For 24 hours, no, no drinking, no eating, none of that for 24 hours. And um, a lot of brothers already um, have done lessons on it. The apostles have done lessons on it, you know, and um, all praises, man. Lord willing, brothers will get edified spiritually, man. And um, to you sincere brothers and to the teachers and apostles, May Yahabashin Yahshai give us the strength to continue to go to the end and, and spiritually support us that we may uh, uh, finish according to his will and that he may have mercy on us that we'll finish this day of atonement, man. Because our ultimate atonement was Yahweh Shah, our Lord, man. He knelt, he was nailed on that cross, you know, and we was atoned for our sins completely, man. But we celebrate the high holy days, you know, and it's a sign of affection and a sign of faith, you know. It's a faith builder, you know. And um, and this is why we do it, you know. And it appeases Yahweh by Shem the Heavenly Father. So uh, let me go into it, you know. This is Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 27. Also on the 10th day of this 7th month, there shall be a day of atonement. It shall be a holy convocation unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire unto Yahweh. You see? So, we're supposed to give, um, we're supposed to uh, offer this sacrifice, this offering, you know what I'm saying, to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, man, you know, and um, the, the scripture said, let's go to Romans 12 and 1, one of my favorite scriptures I love to go to, Romans 12 and 1, the book of Romans, Chapter 12, this is the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 1. And it reads, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, <clears throat> by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. So we're supposed to present our bodies as living sacrifice. In the Day of Atonement, you're actually presenting your body as a sacrifice because you're afflicting your body, your soul. You're not eating for 24 hours and you're not drinking for 24 hours, you know? And that's that's not an easy thing to do, especially the days we live now. Jake loves to eat, man, you know, loves to drink and everything, you know? But it actually, when you brothers actually do it, <laughs> Last year, and this year is going to make my two years in a row that I've done it because I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm seizing in. Like the apostles and elders go into, they always say that if, you, um, if you're if you not ready and you just came into this truth, you know, don't, don't do it because you're not prepared spiritually. But if you've been in this truth three years, four, five, I'm going on seven years, you know what I'm saying? But I actually actually took me some years to get my spiritually prepared 
It's not an easy thing. Like the apostles always go into. It's not something you just jump in and, and be like, you know, I'm an Israelite. And I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And I'm going to celebrate the, this, this feast day, this holy day. Now, I don't work like that. You know what I mean? Every man has his measure. And Yahaba Shimi Arshak is every man his measure. You know? So the Lord, the Lord grooms and he molds us in his time for every each spirit. Okay? So all praise to Yahaba Shimi Arshak. Let me read this again. Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, man. Holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. This is our service. This is our job. The moment you put your hand on the plow, that's it. You made a vow. And you made a contract with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You made a vow with the Lord. Now, a lot of men broke that vow and they went back into the world. But they have their reward coming. They have their punishment coming. Unless they repent. So the Day of Atonement, man, it's a beautiful thing. On the physical level, you know what I'm saying? You're afflicting your body. You know, you're depriving your body for food and water. But it actually flourishes and it feeds your spirit. Because once you're done, once sundown comes, I'm here in Newark, in New Jersey. Sundown is 7.05. Once sundown comes and you finish and you give in the Day of Atonement, you give a quick prayer to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? And, um... It makes you feel good spiritually, man. Now, everybody has his measure. Unfortunately, Esau got me, don't want to give me uh, the day off or pay me for the day off on a pay leave for this day. You know, he, this wicked society that we live in, you know, we're, we're subject to payments, we're in captivity, and I, unfortunately, I have to go to plantation. But I'm doing it as the best as ability, the best I can, man. You know? And I and I advise you brothers who listen to take the Day of Atonement serious and do the best you can if you're ready for it, if you're seasoned in. Now, I want to go 1 Peter's 2 and 5. Here we go. I, boom. This is the book of 1 Peter's 2 and 5. Uh, let me start... I'm going to start at 1, but the point is at 5. This is a good chapter. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 1. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and evil speakings, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby. We are, we're, we're all new babes, man. We're learning every day some, uh, something about this truth. The Lord has opened our eyes and has given us the outside and the understanding to see more spiritually. We're all new babes, okay? And like Paul said, you have to be born again, you know? Being born again, man, you could be, you could be 40 years old, you could be 50 you know, and you come into this truth, you got to be born again. Spiritually, man. And you got to grow in this tent. Like, like Apostle Paul says here, sincere, and um, desiring the sincere milk of the word. When you come into this, to this truth, it's all about stages. You got levels of this. All right? When a baby is born, he drinks his, from his mother's breast, milk. Until you're ready for the meat and the potatoes. You know, the higher parables, the higher do topics and doctrines and breakdowns, you know? So you, all, you, 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 have to, you have to grow thereby, you know? Let's read verse 3. If so, be ye have tasted that the, that the Lord is gracious to whom, to whom 
coming as unto a live salakia, uh, to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of Yahweh and precious. Yeah, because Yahweh Shai is the chief cornerstone. The Lord chose Yahweh Shai, created Yahweh Shai. But men, uh, when you read the story in the scriptures, these wicked men, they, they refuse to listen to Yahweh Shai. You know? They, in a, they didn't accept him as being the son of the Heavenly Father. You know? So, basically, you know, he is our chief cornerstone. He's the one that's mediating for us. He's the one that's going to connect us with the Heavenly Father. The only way, the only reason why the Heavenly Father hears our prayers now is because of Yahweh Shai. He's our chief cornerstone. He is that stone, the living stone. Okay? Salakia. I'm sorry, Salakia. All right. So, verse 5, this is the point. Verse 5. Ye also, as lively stones, are built upon, are built up a spiritual house. And holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifice acceptable to Yahweh Bahamashiach Yahweh Shai. See, the Lord accepts our sacrifices and we're sincere by Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Through Yahweh Shai, our chief cornerstone, the living stone. But yet, the scriptures said we're going to be heirs with Yahweh Shai. The same way he suffered, we partake in his suffering. That's why it says, ye also as lively stones. Every one of you sincere brothers out here that's pushing the doctrine and sincerity and truth and you fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and you go out to the highways and byways and you do your lessons and you and you be a brother, you're charitable, you do alms, you, 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 you call brothers up, you do lessons, you comfort one another with the scriptures. You know what I mean? You're doing the best you can in the fries of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. And you do less offending. And you ask Yahweh Bashim Yahusha for mercy. Guess what? Each one of you is a stone. Each one of you is a stone. Building that spiritual house, man. The tabernacle of David. The house of David. The first church, leading with the first angel, our high priest, Yahweh Shai, on the top of that stone, on the top of that building that we're building. See, the Lord chose him, Yahweh. This is why we praise the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. He's a man of war. Fear Yahweh. Fear Yahweh. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash, man. So the Day of Atonement is very serious, man. Okay? Let's, um, let's go to Psalms 118. Let me see what time it is. Okay, I got to go in a few minutes. I'm going to get two more scriptures. And, I'm, uh, and then we can uh, close it out. So brothers, that's in the East Coast, depending where you at, you know, you know, Day of Atonement, we can finish it at 7.05. And um, Yahweh Ratazah, you know, that we, that the Lord, you know, give us that energy and that spiritual strength we need to continue. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, you're going to be hungry. Yeah, we are going to be hungry later. Be starving, thirsty, your mouth dry. But this is part of afflicting your soul. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, what's coming for us, Yahweh Ratazah, you know, uh, is greater than, it cannot, like Apostle Paul said in the scriptures somewhere, he said the sufferings of this world that we go through is nothing compared to the glory and riches and reward we're going to get, man. <laughs> and you can read that, man. You can read that in the scriptures, man. It's going to be beautiful. All right, this is uh, Psalms 118. All right, let me make sure. Here it goes, verse 22. 
The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. So even King David prophesied about our Lord, Yahweh All right? Now I'm going to finish it. Let's go back to Leviticus 23. Leviticus 23, verse 27. Also on the 10th day of this seventh month, there should be a day of atonement. It should be an holy convocation unto you, and you shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And you shall, and you shall do now today. We don't, we don't actually go get a bullock and sacrifice it, you know, and, and a burnt offering, you know. We're actually, we're actually the sacrifice. Like Romans twelve said, "Give your body as a sacrifice, spiritual offerings," because He's putting us through the fire. Don't the Lord say He's gonna put us through the fire? Ah <laughs> man, I'm telling you, this is powerful. Hey, verse 28. And ye shall do no work in that same day, for it is a day of atonement, to make an atonement for you before Yahweh your power. You see? So, hey, if you are able not to go to plantation and you can actually have the day off, do it. Do it. And study, you know. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakadash, Shalom, Lava Karyam, Shah, Yasharala, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Nathoma, Yah, Ha, Kasayam, Shah, Dawada, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Dabu, Anas, to my teachers, elders of Great Millstone, and you sincere elders and brothers and sisters out there that are sincere, Shalom, brothers.